Good morning. Good morning. So, me and Saul are laying stone today, so we gotta mix a batch of mud by hand. Batch of mortar. That's right. That's right, that's right. First, what you need is your materials. So, I got a bucket of sand in the wheelbarrow already, and another half bucket of sand. So, one and a half buckets of sand total. Dump it in there. Then we got a half bag of mortar because we're making a half batch because we can't mix a full one by hand in a wheelbarrow. We'll make a mess. And we got to stay clean on this concrete. So that's why we have that mat down. Then you need bonding agent. We use the quick crete kind. Let's get a view of that right there. Concrete bonding adhesive. Permanently bonds new concrete and stucco. Yeah. That, yeah. it's strong, it makes it sticky. So, usually about one third of a container per batch. So dump one third of a bottle in with your sand and mortar. We already, uh, used two thirds. Yeah, two thirds, so we this know we just get to bit. Yeah, dump it all out. And then of course we need some water. So we got a five gallon bucket of water here. Yeah. And it might when you're using the bonding agent, it might look like you're using a lot, but you're really not. Yeah. It'll be alright. It'll make it real sticky. And then we got two little hose. We don't like long ones, so got a little hose. So now that all our materials in the wheelbarrow, we can start mixing it. And so I'll usually just stand on opposite sides and do opposite sides of the wheelbarrow. So we got water here. I'll do this side. And then so I'll do over there. Just pushing it back and forth. Get stuck. Huh. They're coming. They're coming. Shout out, little Wheezy. <laughs> that does look fucking good. Huh? That does look fucking good. Alright, so we got her pretty close here. Now this looks pretty good. Pretty soft. Always make sure you get the edge of your wheelbarrow. Real good. Scrape them down. There's always chunks and sand and stuff in the corners that haven't been mixed in. See that? Right there is the sand. Make sure all that gets mixed in. And then that's about it. Just pushing her down, back and forth, mixing it up. So what happens when we're done with uh, mixing the, the batch of mud then? Oh, you know, you just take this and you fucking throw it in the yard let it harden up, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. Take in your bucket, switch the fuck around. See that? And you wash the cleaver in the water. There you go. Look at that. Now you have clean tools. <laughs> Not that fucking hard. <laughs> All right, now we got time to lay some stone. Uh, got my rock here. That's pretty good. You dry stack, so uh, you just gotta make sure these gaps aren't too bad, and that's about it. So this one looks like it'll fit good here. Yep, no gaps. All you gotta do, take our nice good mud we made. Slap it on the back. Nice, nice fat mud joint there. Stick it. Pop it on. And then come over here. I don't know if you have to do this, but I clean the mud off the top and then I seal it like that just so it sticks better. I think it sticks better when you seal it like that. And that's all you gotta do. Fill up the fill up the wall with stone. And that is what the pros call lick them and stick them. Yep. Here we are, Magic Mace, back from a long week of vacation. Long of a week of a vacation. <laughs>